Welcome back family, welcome back to another video. It's your boy Sir Loco with an unexpected video. Uh, your boy got exclusive access on the Pine Greens Air Jordan 3s. Uh, got that Thursday the 21st and uh, they actually came in yesterday, Saturday on the 23rd. So that was a pretty quick delivery and I'm excited. Like I said, I didn't expect that. And uh, before you know we go any further, uh, please Hit that thumbs up, hit that notification bell, so that when your boy Sir Loco is dropping that heat and that content in the kitchen, y'all be the first ones to come and get it. And if, and if this is your first time watching one of my videos, please support your boy and, and uh, hit that subscribe button. And uh, to the new family members, welcome to the familia, welcome to the family, I appreciate y'all, appreciate the support. And also too, uh, you know, y'all been killing in the comment section, man, y'all been going ham on it, so I appreciate that as well. So yeah, going back to the shoe, a couple of videos ago, I dropped a, you know, a hint saying that you know I was gonna have a early look, if you will. Well, these ain't it, but these are early looks. <laughs> uh, I thought I would have had them by now this weekend, but uh, they're still across the pond, and I'm hoping I get them this week. So I'll have y'all two early looks. So if your boy is working hard, you know, like I said, please hit that subscribe and uh, hit that thumbs up. It helps, uh, you know, spread this video around to more people and. You know on the road to 200 you know what i'm saying so you know continue supporting your boys share it and uh like i said you know i hit these on exclusive access and uh, i think uh it's a general 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 release because it's got from from adult sizes to down to toddler so i don't know how many pairs exactly they're releasing but you know normally a general release like that it should be a pretty decent number of pairs so those of y'all who want it should be able to copy it, so good luck to y'all. So, I'm just gonna pose two questions, you know, and at the end of the video, and a disclaimer, you know, I am a, a Jordan 3, I am biased, I do like Jordan 3s, but I'm gonna give my honest uh, opinion at the end, or whatever the case may be, or during the video of what I think about these. And, uh, you know, just y'all, you know, use your best judgment, you already know. If y'all like it, y'all like it, if y'all don't, y'all don't, but. Uh, don't be persuaded by you know the content creators and whatnot you know there you have it there goes the box the just steal me please uh sticker on it <laughs> just kidding uh you know the nike just do it i call it the just steal me please package uh actually not funny so if y'all have a crazy story to tell does ever happen to y'all you know by all means uh you know drop a comment it's not funny but man it does happen uh two so the colorway let's see right here is my size size 13 is black pine green silver and white and there you have it retail at 190. so i like what jordan brand does you know with the boxes especially in regards to the to the threes you know, none, none special. Your traditional elephant print paper. I already looked in there. There's no QC sticker on there. And, uh, you know, I've obviously looked at these already. And the quality control on this pair that I got is pretty good. And, like I said, I do like what Jordan Brand does. With their boxes. That's the Georgetown PE. You know, how they got them matching the, the silhouettes. And I'm just showing them just, you know, just, just for reference or whatever, just to show. And then these are the racer blues. And, and like I said, I do like, you know, what they do with the threes, you know, and it's got the elephant print there. And then they got the matching colorway of the silhouette. So like I said, I just thought I'd show that. And I really do like that, that they do that to, you know, this silhouette, the Jordan three. And, um, you know, so enough about the box uh just a quick history on the threes and if y'all know already just by all means uh ride a uh, shotgun with your boy put on your seat belt and uh just just come along for the ride y'all but a quick uh history if you will and if, just for the sake of uh the new sneaker head or, or just somebody who may not have never known a little bit of the history or whatnot of the silhouette you know that's what i like to do at least put some knowledge on there and out there you know for the people to you know learn or you know even if they don't cop the shoe or like the shoe at least to know a little bit of the history of it but with that being said uh the jordan 3 is released uh 87 88 season jordan had a big uh big uh big season that year 
he had uh, won the slam dunk contest. Uh, I think he won all defensive player. I mean, he's had three or four accolades that year. And he did it all while wearing these uh, Jordan 3s. And the first two silhouettes were uh, designed, if you will, by, you know, different... Uh, you know, different different guys, different designers, if you will. So Jordan 3 was the first silhouette that Tinker Hatfield uh, designed for Michael Jordan and Nike too. And uh, Jordan wanted something that felt game worn. And so Tinker, you know, provided top notch uh, materials for the, for the Jordan 3 silhouette. You know, tumbled leather, you got the elephant print, you know, top notch materials, I believe. Uh, and like I said, somebody correct me. Uh, with Nike and Jordan brand, this was the first silhouette that had the exposed air bubble. Uh, and they retailed at $100 back then, you know. And um, and the OGs had the Nike air in the back of the heel instead of this Jumpman air in the back. And, and I'm just going to pull out this shoe here, this other one, just, just for like reference of what I'm talking about, about MJ wanting... You know, uh, you can see the tumbleness. And that's why I like threes, because, you know, they do feel, you know, already broken in. And they're comfortable to me, you know. But everybody, you know, like I said, uh, has different opinions. But to me, you know, I like the way these feel. And these are my top five Jordans. By by far. By, by the way they feel and whatnot. So I just thought I'd just show that. And this year is the first time, and someone correct me, I mean, there's been a plethora of retros out there, but as far as with the threes, and I'm not 100% sure, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, uh, and this release, this is a new buck. And it's either a new buck or dura buck because uh, it just feels so so smooth, you know. But anyway, well, whatever suede it is, it is suede. Uh, it's not your traditional three where it has the leather, the tumbled leather. And like I said in the beginning of the video, the Jordan mark, the Jordan hit its mark with these, you know, trying something different with a different upper. You know, with the color blocking, let me know. And also, too, what do y'all think? Y'all think these are gonna be seen on shelves? I know y'all seen a bunch of videos out there that a bunch of retro seen on shelves, and I think it's a good thing. So what do y'all think? These will be seen on shelves or uh the Jordan mark, the Jordan hit its mark on these. Did they get it right? Because you know, sometimes they get it right, sometimes they don't. And like I said, everybody has a different likings and whatnot. So drop a comment, let your boy know. Either way, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? So you have your traditional three outsole with the green on the on the forefront, forefoot, if you will. You got your Jordan there, green as well. And <clears throat> you got your upper new buck. You got your green. I, you know, eye lace, uh, eye, eyelets, if you will, and up there on the mid too, and then two Jordan three at the time was the first mid, mid, mid highs, if you will, two to come out. It was a head, of, it wasn't a, a true high OG, and it wasn't a low top. It was in between, you know, give it a little bit of that ankle support. So then you got your perforated holes there, and you got flat black laces. You know, flat black laces. You got a little bit of perforated holes around the bottom half of the tongue. And like I said, this this suede, I'm just gonna call it new buck. It is new buck, I, but I like I said, I don't know if it's dura buck or, or, or a new buck. Very short haired. Very short, -haired, but but uh, but I like it. Like I said, it's it's black. Black goes with anything. I like the little gold uh, uh, hence behind the jump man there. Behind the pine green jump man, the little gold uh, little hints, if you will, outlining. I think that's pretty dope. And uh, green sock liner with the white jump man in there. Inside the air bubble is it's white. I'll just check and make sure you know if it had color in there or not. 
and then uh, your pine green on the midsole there towards the back of the heel it kind of looks shiny but uh, maybe because of the reflection of the light but uh, it does have some gloss to it it's not like a flat you know color if you will it does have some gloss to it yeah I've been printing around the heel like I said already uh, right there on the ankle you got perforated holes but I don't even think they're uh what do you call it uh, functional if you will because look at the inside the sock liner you got no uh no breathability but you know it has it there on the outside and the outside is feels like a you know cloth it doesn't feel like leather you know it feels like you know cloth if you will cloth material You know, you know, just your standard three. Like I said, uh, it's a clean shoe. Black goes with everything. Uh, if you like green, for sure, just and if you know green, and if you like uh, Jordan threes, I'm sure this would be a must cop for y'all. And and going back to like I said, I I don't have anything green in my collection. I'm not a big green guy, uh, but I do like this pine green because it's dark, it's rich like the trees in the forest and how they grow. And, uh, you know, that's what we got to, we got to, we got to be doing, you know, growing, growing as a human, human being, growing as a father, growing as a brother, a friend, whatever the case may be, we got to be growing. Pine green, like the pine trees in the forest. You know, so let me get a better close up look at the light. Now, here goes my take on the shoe. I'll give you the, the, the I guess the cons of whatever cons I have with the shoe is that the new buck, you know, it being black, uh, you know, you're going to be able to see every single little thing. You're going to have to take care of it. Don't have no uh, chicken grease on your fingers and, and, and you know, wipe wipe this black Durabuck because I might do it in. Might ruin your shoe, your finish. Another thing is, too, and like I said, these are just my opinions and thoughts. Uh, like I said, I do have a couple cons with the shoe. And one already just mentioned, you know, don't have anything. Make sure your fingers ain't dirty, greasy. And another thing is too, if you know, if you scrape or or scuff up the upper, you know, new buck, you know, you you're gonna see it, and it'll be pretty hard to repair it. And my and my other gripe too about the just Jordan three, in general, is that they have no perforated holes, no breathability. This shoe has no breathability, and so if you're balling in these, you know, in the summertime, springtime, yeah, you're gonna have. Uh, uh, wet socks your feet's gonna be hot so those are my cons and my pros are you know hey i like it you know the jordan brand tries something different you know like i said with with the new buck upper you know i dig it you just have to be extra careful uh the color blocking to me looks good like I say you know this is coming from a guy who who you know say goes out of his way to cop a green colorway shoe you know i like i actually like this color blocking you know the alpha print you know i think it complements it real good like i said it's it's not a wow shoe it's just a shoe you know uh jordan 3 with another different colorway you know to add to your collection this won't be a bad shoe in my opinion you know to have to your collection not at all you know so for me personally, to uh, to the question, the Jordan uh, brand hit its mark. Did, it, did they get it right? And like I said, I named my few cons, but overall, I think they did. You know, I'm not mad at them for trying something different. You know, whether with the materials and same thing like with the with the Orange Blaze Fives. You know, different upper. You know, what I'm saying trying something different. You know, I ain't mad at them for that. You know, there's always, it's always going to be hit or miss for somebody. But, you know, for me, like I said, overall, it's a, it's a clean shoe, good color blocking, and uh, 
you know it's a three <laughs> what else can you ask for you know but uh you know with that being said you know hopefully y'all like this video uh let, let your boy know what you think about the shoe and i will be surprised if, if you know you know except for you know with the exception of late shipments and stuff like that i will be surprised if i do see these uh sitting on shelves i don't think they will and you know they hit the mark for me you know i'm, I'm glad to add these to the collection you know like i said i don't have nothing green in the colorway in my collection and these are my first ones you know uh, unexpected cop <laughs> so drop a comment let your boy know did they get it right what do you think they'll be sitting on shelves and uh until the next time like i said hit that notification bell because i have another early look coming and it should be this week so with that being said y'all have a good night good day good evening and uh, until next time peace